Uh, my name's James Dexter. I'm the Director of uh, Public and Regional Services at the Western Australian Museum. Basically means look after a lot of the public interface with the museum, but especially with developing exhibitions both for here in Perth, but for Fremantle and for our regional museums as well. Well, the ACDC exhibition is a collaboration between ourselves and the, um, the Arts Centre in Melbourne. Uh, the Arts Centre has concentrated on developing some exhibitions about iconic Australian performers, Kylie, Nick Cave, people like that but we've been able to provide them with the design expertise. We actually, in fact, are one of the best design studios uh, in any museum in Australia, so we designed it. But why did we go for it? Well, I think, you know, museums are about all parts of human behaviour, uh, and sometimes people think of museums, and perhaps particularly here in Western Australia, as full of rocks or dead animals, and that's great, but we also want to look at contemporary culture. And, of course, there's nothing quite as I mean, ACDC, they've been around for a long time, but they're still contemporary. They uh, have not just only an Australian route, but a uh, Western Australian or Perth or Fremantle route with Bon Scott, who's, uh, whose birthday is uh, next week. So we should remember Bon in that. But um, I think it's also to bring to the cultural centre and to the city of Perth, this sense of vibrancy and contemporary culture and what's been great about this is we've got such a wide audience. We've got the old rockers with their, still some of them with their mullets, but very greying uh, from the 70s, bringing along their young grandchildren and their young grandchildren who are discovering ACDC because they're such a great hard rock band. They just produce good hard rock and roll. Well, in a sense, they are Australia's family jewels. People don't realise perhaps how successful ACDC are. They are the uh, they've sold more albums. They've sold more albums than the Beatles and the Rolling Stones combined, and their Back in Black is the second biggest album ever after Michael Jackson's Thriller. Now these guys, most of them began in Australia. They are Australia's family jewels. They uh, and they've just continued to produce that great authentic sound. Well, in trying to set up an exhibition like this, you're faced with. Uh, it, the biggest problem is, of course, you're talking about an art form that's ephemeral. You're talking about a performance, a song. How do you get that kind of excitement, that that adrenaline, that you know, that people when the Moscow, the Moscow concert of ACDC, still the biggest of all time, 1.2 million people there. How do you try and somehow get that in a, you know, a, a, a gallery of 400 square meters? Well, one of the things is you've got to have the sound there. You've got to have the the image. But you've got to have, and then you're building up the whole thing out of memorabilia, Bon Scott's jacket, you're building it up out of a lot of audio-visual material uh, and a very big loud, large screen with the uh, Hell's Bells uh, uh, concert on it, which is sort of pretty, uh, pretty uh, pounding and pretty, uh, pretty uh, sort of enticing. Uh, some of our volunteers and staff who have to stay in there, I think, know every word of it by now, but, uh, but that's good. But it's trying to get that sense of a temporary or ephemeral performance, the excitement, the light, the sound, and put it into what is usually a very static three-dimensional process. But I think in this case, our designers working with the curator have done very well. Well, I'm old enough to have been around when ACDC began. And yeah, sort of, but I didn't know, like most people, I was taken aback when I realised not just how successful they have been, but their longevity and the fact that they appeal to the young generation now. So it's not only people of my age, and this is what's been wonderful. There's been a cross-generational audience who are coming, as I said, grandparents pulling their kids in and kids pulling their grandparents in. And it's been quite an interesting family, uh, family experience, which perhaps surprised us in that way. But it was, as I said, their, la their music is very honest. Some might say simple, but it's honest. It, it has just continued down that way. And I didn't, I suppose, realise quite the strength of it and quite how hard they worked at that. Because you don't, you get that success by hard work. The ACDC concert is here. It'll be here during the Winter Arts uh, Festival. It's here until the 7th of August. So there's no excuses for people in Perth and Fremantle and the rest of WA not to come and see this and not to remember Bon Scott because the other thing I want to point out is Bon Scott's birthday is the 9th of July 
and to commemorate that, as part of a whole city-wide set of events, we're having a free concert on Friday the 8th of July from uh, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. The museum is open, the exhibition is open, and there will be a sausage sizzle, and we've got uh, Bongarnas doing a cover versions of, uh, the, uh, of ACDC from, as I said, from five until eight, out in the James Street uh, Mall, just outside the museum. So please come along and see that. And if you miss that, come and see the exhibition, which ends on the 7th of August.